Polyester is made from oil, so recycling means we get more mileage from a precious resource. They convert plastic bottles into chip form. Pulses of hot air toss the chips, giving them hard shells. They go through a dryer to get rid of moisture that would weaken the final product. A worm screw moves the chips through heated pipes, which melt them into a thick liquid. This molten recycled polyester is now ready to be turned into yarn. It will be pressed through this dye plate that looks a lot like a shower head. It's part of a device called the spin pack, which also includes a mesh filter, a metal distribution plate, and bits of shattered metal for extra filtration. They preheat the pack so the polyester won't harden as it flows through it. Then they transfer it to one of the openings from which the liquid polyester flows. 68 tiny holes in each disc shape the recycled polyester into filaments. They cool and harden as they exit. Each one is five times finer than a single human hair. The yarn travels around rollers into a compartment where air buffets the yarn to entangle the filaments. This holds them together. A spool then racks up the yarn at a rate of over 200 kilometers an hour. At this point, the yarn is stiff, like dental floss, but that's about to change. This machinery pulls the polyester yarn over heated rubber rollers. The process stretches it and realigns the molecules. More equipment twists it, and then it's taken up by automated spools. Now this recycled polyester yarn is less like dental floss and more like wool. From plastic bottles to polyester yarn, this transformation has taken just a couple of weeks. This recycled yarn is now ready for the material world, making consumerism a less wasteful thing.